This rotten apple is not an ordinary apple. It is the origin of the biohazard. It can wipe out a nation in the blink of an eye. From the moment it was thrown in the trash, the bacteria in it begin to mutate and spread rapidly. It eventually becomes a deadly virus. The garbage is recycled and turned into feed. Eventually, the cattle are brought back to the human dinner table. Countless humans enjoyed eating the diseased beef. Among them was Kim, who threw away rotten apples in a hurry for dinner with Lily. Kim ate a bite of raw beef to prove to Lily that he liked beef, but he ate a piece of apple peel from the beef. Kim didn't care about that, he just thought about how to confess to Lily. And when he succeeded in his confession, and tried to give Lily another celebratory kiss, Lily stopped him because she found a lot of black lines on Kim's face. Kim was hit in the head with a bottle before he could figure out what it was. It turned out to be to high school students who were uncomfortable with their intimacy here. Kim, who was always timid, had the courage to challenge the two high school students. He didn't realize that there was a young version of strong man in the high school, so he was beaten up and vomited blood. Lily took out her cell phone to take pictures and call the police. But Kim didn't feel any pain at that moment. His eyes suddenly glowed red. His body attacked the high school students uncontrollably and became very powerful. Even Strawman was knocked to the ground by his feast. Afterwards, Kim looked at all this in disbelief. He wondered if he had really done it. Lily was so scared by Kim's ferocious look that she ran away. Kim had to go to the ballroom to get help from his friends and tried to get his friend to say something nice about him to Lily. The crowd on the roadside was all fighting together inside and outside the restaurant. Kim, whose brain was getting foggy, didn't notice the anomaly. The first to notice the strange phenomenon was Lily. She knew from her body's transformation and what she had just experience with Kim, that Kim must have the virus in her body, and that she was infected too, so she rushed to call Kim but couldn't get through, because by now, Kim had already become sick and started to bite people in the dance hall. On the other side, the high school students, who had direct contact with Kim were the first to start mutating. They started to attack people around them for no reason. The people eating in the restaurant gradually started to mutate for no reason. Their bodies were covered with various black stripes and they kept vomiting. At first, the government blamed it on the flu and disposed of the animals infected with the disease. But it was too late. More and more patients started attacking people for no reason. The city was filled with violence. Kim had little consciousness left. He smashed his home to pieces. Then he attacked his family when they came home from a trip. Other families were in a similar situation. The city was a living hell. The government turned a blind eye to these horrors. Kim meets Lily, who has become sick, in the midst of the zombie hordes on the streets. The two of them stare at each other in disbelief. Then they went to a deserted mall. Lily picked up a rotten apple and gave it to Kim. Kim looks at the apple and seems to understand something. A sweeping robot was cleaning the temple, but suddenly knelt in front of the Buddha statue and realized the Buddha's philosophy. He used Sin Theory to debate a group of monks to dumbfound it. The monks did not know how to deal with this situation, so they asked Sam, an engineer from the maintenance company, to come and check. But no matter how Sam tested the robot, all indicators were normal. Sam inexplicably felt a touch of panic. How could a robot sweeper have an epiphany of Buddhism? Sam quickly sent his test report to the company. After the company's senior management knew about it, they decided to personally lead a team to investigate. The night before the robot investigation, Jenny found the robot and said that Buddha said that all beings can become Buddhas. Then the robot could become Buddha as usual. But Sam said that the robot was a defective product and they wanted to take it to destroy it. This does not make sense. So she wanted the robot to run away. However, the robot was unmoved. It asks Jenny what she thinks it is. Jenny says it's a Buddhist monk. The robot pointed to the electronic watch on the wall and asked Jenny what it was. Jenny said that it was a digital watch. Then the robot removed its own arm. It asked Jenny again if it was a Buddhist monk's hand or a digital watch. Jenny was speechless. The robot said that the difference between Buddha and robot is due to the difference in perception. People have to draw a line in the sand before they think that Buddha and robot are two different beings. Of course, this problem also plagues it. But people just have to look at everything with a spiritual mind too know whether they're dealing with a Buddha or a robot. Jenny seems to have understood a little bit. On the last night of his life, the robot walked alone in the corridor of the temple. It also pondered that question, is it a human or a robot? In the end, he even knelt down and begged Buddha to give him the answer. The next day, the robot company executives brought people to prepare to destroy the robot, but their actions were stopped by the monks in the temple because they believe that all beings can become Buddhas. It is not to be feared just because it is a robot, but the executives believe 
that the robot's consciousness is awakening and is approaching human intelligence indefinitely. As they say in robot movies, God created man, man created the robot, man can doubt God, why can't robots doubt people? The day when robots also have doubts, the survival of mankind will face a great challenge. The two parties were at loggerheads over whether to destroy the robots. Finally, the company executives asked the Buddhist master to talk about Buddhism with the robot via video call. The guru asked how many reincarnations and hardships a robot would have to go through to achieve the right outcome. If a robot can attain Buddhist teachings just through the initial assembly, then who else would try to cultivate? A master is a master. He asked a question that the robot did not say a word. When the robot was speechless, the senior officers ordered his men to shoot the robot. But Sam suddenly appeared in front of the robot. But even then, even so, the men never let go of the chance to destroy the robot. Then they pushed Sam to the ground. The robot saw the fallen Sam and quickly opened his palms in anger. As soon as he lifted both hands, he knocked two of his men away, just when the crowd thought he was going to kill them. But the robot stopped the knife and said that all beings can prove the way. Robots do not have to be put together to realize the way just because they are robots. Humans do not have to practice for several reincarnations to achieve enlightenment just because they are human. He turned around and walked towards the Buddha. The robot kneeled down in front of the Buddha with folded hands. When Sam went over to check it, he found that the robot had already stopped functioning. The robot cut off all its own wiring. Maybe it was a reincarnation. Or maybe this is the fulfillment of the Buddha. The surrounding monks all knelt in front of the robot. Sam at the end of the story from the robot to take out a chip and put the robot dog accessories. The original Sam is also a robot, but his disguise is more advanced. Do not buy things on alien websites. The girl bought a random billiard ball that almost destroyed the human race. One day Yaya accidentally broke her father's billiard balls, so she prepared to buy a billiard ball secretly online. When her father was about to open the door and enter the house, scared, Yaya threw the billiard ball out of the window after her father left the room. She continued to look for information on the internet. On the other hand, the billiard balls were rolling over and over. Finally, it went into the pit perfectly. Yaya found the purchase page while the pit was shining brightly and successfully bought a billiard ball. Time came two years later. A terrible disaster is about to happen. An unidentified flying object is rushing towards Earth. The government has failed to intercept it by all means. The human race may be extinct like the dinosaurs due to the asteroid hitting the Earth. Yaya's family also hid in a bomb shelter. They have been preparing supplies for 10 years. Her uncle Jack is a man who understands technology. He designed a whole circuit in the shelter and hoped they would escape this time. Yayo was suddenly shocked as her parents were packing their bags because the latest official news indicated that it was not an asteroid but a billiard ball that hit them. And the billiard ball had Yaya's purchase website account on it. It was the same billiard ball she had purchased from that website. Yaya told her parents the whole story. She said that the website where she bought the tennis balls was probably an alien website. But her parents didn't believe her and thought her daughter was scared out of her mind. Yaya ran outside in a rage. She wanted to see the world one last time. That's when her tech-savvy uncle went to check Yaya's computer. Jack recovered the original data through various means. Then he clearly told Yaya's parents that Yaya had really bought a ball on an alien website. At that moment, Yaya's shouting came from outside the house. They hurriedly pulled Yaya into the house. Yaya said that the outside was covered with black clouds. They turned on the TV in the bomb shelter to check the news. It turns out that the speed of the billiard ball is accelerating. In 20 minutes, the billiard ball is going to hit the earth. A huge shadow loomed over the city. At that moment, his father said that he should be able to return the things he bought online. This was a wake-up call for Jack. Then Yaya's parents were responsible for artificially generating electricity through exercise. Jack and Yaya logged into their accounts on the alien website. After a period of operation that no one could understand, two symbols appeared on the screen. At this point, there were still seven minutes before the billiard balls hit the earth. Her parents were also running out of power due to their stamina. Yaya in a hurry clicked the mark of the cross on the screen. The result was that the countdown suddenly changed from 7 minutes to 2 minutes. It turned out that Yaya had just clicked on the express delivery service. Yaya apologized to her family. The family hugged each other in the bomb shelter, waiting for the destruction of the earth. In 2 minutes the billiard balls will destroy everything on the surface. 10 years later, a mountain of canned food is piled up in the shelter. Yaya's family has slept almost all of those 10 years. Yaya has also grown up. That day the calm shelter suddenly shook. 
the shelter was shaken out of its gaping hole and showed a light emanating from outside. Yaya was curious and went out. An alien appeared in front of her eyes. The alien projected Yaya's shopping website account with its palm outstretched. It wants Yaya to sign for the delivery. The alien had been looking for Yaya for 10 years for this delivery to be signed for. After Yaya signed for the delivery, the alien flickered away. The scene shifts. The sun shone on the earth again. A huge, endless billiard ball lies on the lawn. Yaya happily tells her parents that the disaster is over. Everything will start again. The film is called Doomsday Book. It tells three interesting stories. A brave new world, heaven's creation and happy birthday. The first story tells us that it is everyone's responsibility to take care of the environment. The second story tells us don't look at others with preconceived ideas or tag them with labels. The third story tells us that we should pay attention to family harmony. Otherwise, a girl wouldn't buy a billiard ball and cause the planet to nearly die. Save Review believes that we all have our own views and opinions on what these stories mean. For example, the robot's enlightenment of Buddhism is worth discussing. If you have something you'd like to watch or say, please leave a comment and subscribe to Save Review. Let's watch a movie together to experience a different life. See you next time.